So if I were to go around over here on to the text tool, click and drag this out and type in this is a sentence. You can see that this is within a bounding box. And if I were to go around and then click and drag this, you can see that the text size does not change as I resize the bounding box right here. So if you want the text size to be changed, then you should go around onto the top left, click over here on move tool and click on scale. And now if I were to click and drag the bounding box, you can see that the text size changes as well. And the text value, as you can see, changes out over here when I do that. So I can go around right here and you can see that right now the text size is 50. So if I were to go around and type in 50, press enter, then this is exactly 50 in size. If you want to change around the size to 100, you can type in 100 right here. And you can also add in decimals to be exact as you want. You can also go around over here and then select um, the text size from the drop down menu uh, accordingly as well. So that is how you can work around with the text size. You can use this tool or you can use the text size option right here. Another option you have is the text alignment option. So over here, you can see that this is currently left aligned. So this is a sentence. The sentence itself is left aligned now. So if I were to go around and click on the uh, text align center, click here, it is center aligned and click on this one to right align it right here. Similarly, the vertical alignment is here. So right now it is aligned at the top. You can go around, align it at the center or at the bottom. So if I were to go around, align this uh, way to the center, I can go around, type anything right here and you can see that it uh, center aligns right here. Center alignment is there as you can see right here. So you can go around and then select our different alignment options again to change its outlook. So that is how you can work around with the um, uh, resizing of text. And then that is how you can work around with the alignment of text inside of a design file in Figma. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.